Good morning. I know today I'm going to do an example of a two-way table, or oh, and why we, um, and how we use two-way tables as well. Okay. Um, so basically, um, if we were to be given a problem, for instance, a bit like the one, like if we were to all ignore all of this, um. It would be so much easier if we were to draw it up a little bit um, in a table, um, so strategically in a way. So rather than have lots of random numbers all over the place trying to work out who does what and who prefers what and such and such, if we draw up a table, it will make our lives a lot easier. So let's have a look at the question uh, or the the information they're giving us. Um, so Janice asks 100 students. If they like biology, chemistry, or physics best. So 38 of the students are girls, 21 of these girls like biology. Um, 18 boys like physics best, and 7 out of the 23 who like chemistry are girls. Um, so what we can do is we can draw ourselves up a table to represent all of this information. We're going to have two variables going on. One is boys and girls, or girls and boys, whichever way around you like that. Um, and the other one is biology, chemistry, or physics best. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to draw up a table. We're going to have boys, and we're going to have girls. We're going to have chemistry. We're going to have biology. And we're going to have physics. These are the preferences of their um, subjects. Now, at the ends of these rows and columns, we are going to have totals. Because right at the very beginning, Janice asked 100 students. So in total, we've got 100 students. This number down at this in this corner is always the biggest total. So what information do they give us? They tell us that 38 of the students are girls. So if we go to the end of the girls total, uh, row, then we know that that is 38. Well, if we know that there's 38 girls and there's 100 in total, 100 take away 38 equals 62, so there must be 62 boys. Okay, so that's how we're going to do this. It's all about adding and subtracting. So, 21 of these girls like biology best. So, biology, girls, 21 in the end. 18 boys like physics best. So we go boys, physics, 18. I can't work out anything else because I haven't got enough information yet. So 7 out of the 23 who like chemistry are girls. So we know that there's 23 like chemistry. And we know 7 of these are girls. So... If we know 7 of these are girls, then we do 23 take away 7. That will get us 16. We know that 16 are boys. So why don't we just fill out the whole table first before we focus on the questions that they are asking us. Okay, so we know 16 plus 18 is, is at 34. 62 take away 34. Take away 30 leaves us 32. Take away the 4 leaves us 28. So this must be 28 boys like biology. Um, 28 plus 21 is 49. Uh, 21 plus 7 is 28. Take that away from the 38 must be 10. And 18 plus 10 is 28. Okay, we can check all of these add up if we like, but I'm pretty certain, I'm pretty confident that these will all add up. This will all add up to 100, this will all add up to 100, this will all add up to 62, this will all add up to 38, and the columns will also add up to the totals at the bottom. So let's now focus on the questions. So, work out the number of students who like biology best. Well, this is pretty straightforward now because I've done that. Uh, the number of students who like biology best is 49 students. If a student is picked at random, so I'm going to pick one of these students, there's 100 in total, what is the probability it is a boy who likes chemistry? So because we're picking out of 100, 
we're going to write this as a fraction out of 100. Okay. And a boy who likes chemistry, well, there's the boys, there's the chemistry, that's 16 out of 100. So the probability it's a boy who likes chemistry equals 16 out of 100. We can simplify this fraction. I can divide top and bottom by 4, so we get 4 out of 25. Or 0 0.16. 0 0.16 is acceptable. Right, part C. A girl is picked at random. So we know we're picking from the girls. So the denominator now is 38, because we know it's a girl that's being picked. We're not even including these boys. So it's something out of 38. What is the probability they like physics the most? How many girls like physics? 10. That's your numerator. I'm picking 10. I can pick out of the 10, but also I've got 38 girls I'm picking from. So probability, it's a girl, um, and they are physics equals 10 out of 38. Um, I can divide both by 2, so that's 5 out of 19. Okay, that's pretty much it with, with two-way tables. Um, if they ask for a proportion, um, a proportion is just a fraction. So we can write it as a fraction and we'll be absolutely brilliant with it. That would be absolutely fine. Okay. Um, but have a go at the questions now that I've put on the worksheet and uh, see how you get on. All right. Thank you.